Good morning to you all, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, good morning to you all, my Biafran families, and also to my wonderful Biafran friends eh, from all over the world, both eh, in Nigeria, in Biafra land, and the ones we're there for Obodo Yibo. Every other thing, you know, um, all of the other protocol I duly observed according to my English people. <laughs> so, make on a see what in the happen. You know, the, the progress that have been made so far by the Biafra Republic government in exile, the officials and also the Prime Minister of the Biafra government in exile, Simon Epan Joko. Anyway, before we, move, we, we, we wade into the matter that carried us come this morning, you know, I beg I would like to. Uh, let you know that this message need to be shared because the progress that we are making, at least the 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 the, the, the contraction called Nigeria, need to be aware of it and let them know that uh, we are not joking. Like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to this channel because more of videos will be coming your way. Our satellite TV and radio station are about to hit the airwaves, according to the Prime Minister of the Biafran Republic Government in exile, Epa Simon Njoko, the PM, according to the people. Well, I'm reading from his uh, platform or from his uh, ex-handle, formerly known as uh, Twitter. So, if you doubt this message, you can as well log on to www.x.com. Then click uh, or type Simon Epa. You will get the full details of what I'm telling you. And uh, before that, uh, we still have uh, other information where we will give on uh, here. This one is get to the root of the matter. Uh, Alex Oti demands probe of protest at Michael Opara or Michael Opara University. Well, uh, my people, we are taking uh, uh, reactions uh, over this uh, matter of uh, satellite TV and radio about to hit the airwaves, which is coming from Simon Epa Njoko. This one is SNM Christian. He said, that is fantastic news. I'm so excited to hear that your satellite TV and the radio will soon be hitting the airwaves. It is a great opportunity to reach a wider audience and share your content with the world. I wish you all the best with your launch. And I'm sure your programming will be a bit hit or will be a hit, uh, so to say. And I was in as a as an Christian, I was in Toko for the matter. And uh, we have uh, freedom for life, who said, also wish yourself, if truly you are a Biafran. Hey, I don't know what in this one mean. Whether you are talking, replying to SNM or you are replying to Simon Epa. Well, now you go tell, talk that one. We don't know what you mean. This one is a uh, Obiageri Akwebu said, try and read in between the lines. Our Prime Minister Simon Epa said, our satellite TV and radio will soon be hitting the airwaves. And not his personal properties. Well, we are your point of uh, correction is noted, and thanks for that. Most Uchibike said it's like you have uh, separated yourself already. What do you commit? <laughs> so, when some, somebody was commit before he or she can separate uh, himself from the struggle, anyway, you know, and I know with me, self, I don't know. Igwe said, Thank you, brotherly. Everyone must not uh, believe. Uh, even the Pharisees never believe that Christ has come yet. We know your kind of people who lives by law and keep uh, dying spiritually. Our able prime minister already bring together the kitchen equipment for the forthcoming cooking. Bam! Has changed. <laughs> now so our brother take a talk his own. Freedom is life said you sound as if you are in pain. Ewo, hey, hey, hey. Well, I know the finish you I beg. Abu said you sound like you are in pain, but that is not our problem. Our ma our mathematics no hard uh no hard you to understand or whatever he say or not uh his ogre. Our not is his ogre. I don't even know what in this one come in by this uh, comment. Uh, this one said uh, Amarachi Chiledu said, You the smoke Igbo, you the smoke uh, Igbo. <laughs> I don't know how Igbo can carry enter this matter now. Me and Ogo Fitoko. Anyway, my people, this one are the few reactions where we get for the matter so far. And uh, we are going into what we call the next news, which is uh, get to the root of the matter. Alex Oti demands probe of protest at Michael Opara University in Abia State. The governor of uh, Abia State, Alex Choma Oti, 
has demanded a thorough investigation into the recent student unrest at the Michael Okpara University of Agriculture in Omodike at the state. Nokute News understand that the increment of student fees resulted in the university closure, according to the information we reached just here. Sharing his concerns over the development during a meeting with the university management on Tuesday, which he stressed the importance of identifying the underlying reasons behind the student unrest. He emphasized that a comprehensive investigation from uh, okay, free from uh, uh, preconceived notions is crucial to prevent future disruptions. He also said it is important that you get to the root of the matter if the investigation panel does not do a thorough job. You may not uh, get to the root and one of the ways to solve a problem is not to uh, prejudge it. That uh, prejudging will close your mind to every other suggestion. The governor pledged his commitment to collaborating with the university administration and other stakeholders to facilitate the resumption of uh, full academic activities. He acknowledged the negative impact of uh, academic disruptions on students, education, and future prospects. Speaking further, Oti announced the planned establishment of an agricultural business incubation center at the university, which is uh, Michael Opera University. If you never hear about it, so hear it now from the horse's mouth. According to Alex Oti, he directed the Commissioner for Agriculture and the Principal Secretary to the Governor to collaborate with the university on this initiative, on what to do, how to go about it. I mean, uh, he's talking about the incubation uh, program that is uh, that will take place at the university as soon as possible. That is coming from the Office of the Governor of Abbey State, Dr. Alex Joma Oti. Anyway, my people, we have other situations here which I would also like you people to listen and listen attentively. This one is coming from the Iflefu, where in MB, near some weekend. He gives reasons why Nigeria is still together. I don't know the reasons, but that is what you are about to hear. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, which is the FCT, uh, former governor of uh, River State near some week, said that the country continues to remain one because of the prayers of the church and responsible religious organizations. Far, 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 foul. This one is, is sorry, this one is lie from the pit of hell. We considered this on Thursday when he received a delegation from the Abuja Archdiocese of the Methodist Church of Nigeria, led by the Archbishop, Most Reverend Michael O. Akinwale on a courtesy visit. What are they visiting? I cannot say. <laughs> All of them don't venture into politics. And tomorrow you come out and tell me, and they are being called by God. So they are being called by God to join hand with oppressors of the poor, to continue oppressing the poor. Now he said, it's only because of the prayers of the church that make the Nigeria city men one. Dara and dara. The role of the church is playing is very important. So the government will always partner with the church and other religious groups because the government cannot do it alone. Just like the president said the other day, the country requires prayers for peace. We require prayers for stability. We require prayers for the country to move forward. He said, other countries require action for their country to move forward. In Nigeria, uh, the person who is telling you that uh, we require prayers for stability, for peace, and whatever, whatever, spend over 15 billion naira to build he said he called it a befitting mansion for the vice president who is not living in, in, inside the bush or sleeping under the bridge. Why the poor masses in that federal capital territory are wilding in hunger, even going to bed with empty stomach, not even a single water to drink. Look at the people. Uh -huh. they, when they siphon the whole money finish, then they will come and tell you you need to pray. And that is why you see most of the youth end up in churches. Because they have had this mentality that when things get to tough, even when the one that government can do, the government will not do it. Rather, they will tell you go and pray. Somebody is hungry, they will tell you go and pray with empty stomach. Nobody will do that. It takes the church and other religious groups that have been responsible and praying for this nation to remain together. And therefore, whatever we can do to support, we will always do that. And that is why, as Federal Capital Territory Association, we take responsibility for maintaining the Christian Center and the National Mosque. These are the two national assets 
for which the Federal Capital Territory Association is responsible for their maintenance because we all believe we serve one God. He assured his guests of the, uh, of the willingness of the FCTA to render any form of support to the Methodist Church while also assuring them that he would welcome a visit from the head of the Methodist Church in Nigeria, the Most Reverend Oliver Aba, according to Yesom Wiki. Where my people now hear me, I go take back break. And I go hear my voice again when I come back because today is going to be fire for fire, bam bam ding ding, back to back. But whichever way it is, make gonna use this one, the jollification. And I hear my voice again, my name still remains Amandi Anna Eze, reporting live from the platform of Obuta Daily Talk, where we always speak to you the undiluted truth about everything and anything you need to know. One of my people, make on a jollification. I'll be right back. Que me sea, no.